Hey guys, we are in the basement and today we're gonna do another John's Arcade on the road. And this time we are going back up to Fun Spot. You see, I was there last week because Fun Spot had their annual tournament. Now, if you guys don't know what Fun Spot is, it is the world's largest arcade. It's located in Wares Beach, New Hampshire. It's actually where they filmed a lot of The King of Kong, if you've seen that movie. Anyway, I did a really lengthy video uh, a few months ago. It's like a half hour long. It's a complete tour of the place. Definitely check it out if you've never been to Fun Spot or are thinking about it because in that video, I really cover like every inch of the place. But today's video, we're gonna focus on one game and we're actually gonna do a review of a game that I've had a lot of requests uh, uh, to do a review for and that is Dragon's Lair and that is a laser disc game that was released in the 83 or 84 by Cinematronics. Anyway, let's get in the car and let's head up to Where's Beach, New Hampshire. All right, here we are at the uh, New Hampshire State Liquor Store. And for whatever reason, in this state of uh, New Hampshire, you cannot buy booze or anything at a liquor at a, a, a liquor store or a convenience store. You have to buy everything from the state, and uh, it's just very bizarre. But the prices are good, so yeah, we're gonna go in and get some stuff for the weekend. So, all right. All right, guys, we are here at Fun Spot. Check it out. Okay, so here is Fun Spot's laser disc collection. Let's start on this side, I'll show you guys. We've got Dragon's Lair 2, which appears to be down. Cobra Command. Astron Belt, which is currently booted to a window screen. You know, this all these Laserdisc games are pretty much running Daphne, which is a uh, an emulator, a PC emulator that uh, basically emulates the Laserdisc hardware. Um, Stern's Cliffhanger, Space Ace, which is not operating. Here's Mach 3, which is a uh, cockpit laser game, not working. Atari's Firefox and Dragon's Lair, which we're going to talk about today. Alright guys, so Dragon's Lair was released in 1983 by Cinematronics and it is a laser disc game. Meaning the video that you're seeing on the screen is being played by a laser disc and essentially when you're moving the joystick to, to control the character, it's like skipping tracks on the laser disc and playing another movie. Um, now, laser discs, if you guys don't know, are like giant DVDs. They're like the size of a record album. If you don't know what a record album is, it's it's pretty big. So, um, the game has some outstanding animation in it. Um, it's it's beautiful. It's it's a work of art, and it was actually designed or, or, or illustrated or animated by Don Bluth, who was an ex. Disney animator, um, and he did such a great job. I mean, it looks so great. The animation, the art style, the colors, it's, I mean, it, it looks like a movie. And you're basically playing a movie. I remember when I was a kid, at, uh, at, they had one of these at 7-Eleven, and all the guys that were good at it were just like, to me, like, this was such an adult game. I could never figure it out. And it was also an expensive game. Um, it cost 50 cents to play this game, and it was one of the first games to actually charge 50 cents. And, and when I was younger, um, that was actually a big problem for me because I didn't want to play it because I, it was too hard. I, I sucked at it, and it was also expensive, so I would never risk any money on this game. Um, every now and then I would splurge and play it. And even today, I am really bad at this game. Um, so when we play it, uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm bad. <laughs> so, all right, why don't we set up the tripod and let's see how Dragon's Lair plays. Hey, 
Okay, we have the tripod uh, set up here. So I want to point out uh, a couple things here. So we have our screen here um, that's basically just playing video, and we're kind of, in a way, selecting tracks. Um, there's some logic, too. Um, but there is a scoreboard up here, and it's an LED scoreboard. And so there's no actual score on the screen. So what they did is they added like this almost pinball style uh, uh, LCD display or LED display, and uh, and that's how you get your score. So and then the controls themselves. Let's take a look here. Um, we have a four-way joystick and a sword button on either side, and one and two player start. Now the one here at Fun Spot uh, is a two-token game just like back in the day, um, which is kind of funny to me. So let's go ahead and put two tokens in. Again, I am not good at this game. All right, so let's uh, get this here. And I'm going to die a lot. And it's probably not going to be very informative because I suck so bad. <laughs> And so, yeah, this is a series of quick time events. So, so right now, pushing right, pushing right again, pushing right again. Oh, the joystick on this game is a little not right. <laughs> Oh no, not this one. Pushing right. Pushing left. Pushing right. Left. 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 Wow, I actually did it. Uh, pushing forward. Sword. Forward. Sword. Left. Oh shit, what do I do? Oops. Oh, this one. Oh, I was supposed to jump off there. <laughs> wow. I haven't played this game in like 20 years. So there you go. I really suck at that game. Why don't we play it one more time? But you can see it's it's a lot of memorization and trial and error and playing the game over and over again. And when I was a kid, I didn't have the money to do that. So I never got good at it. I never learned how to really play it or memorize all these things. But um, it basically is just a lot of memorization. But it's so well executed. It's It looks so great. All right, let's, here we go. Forward. Right? And you do not want to drink me, because that will kill you. It's poison, I know that. This joystick is not working right. Oh, not this one. What do I do? Third one or second one? One, two. Oh, this is the ball. No. Oh. <laughs> I am so bad at this. Oh, great. One. Should we play again? All right, let's play again. <laughs> so what do you think? Is this game cool or what? I, I've actually thought a lot about getting one of these in my basement, but I'm worried that once you get good at it and once you memorize everything and once you get to the end, you'll never want to play it again. And I suspect that to be true. It'd be kind of fun though to build like a Daphne thing. Shit. That joystick is totally not working right left. 
right. Whoa! And you can see how they randomize the levels, which is actually a good thing. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Save me. Sword. Sword. What? Ugh. Alright guys, <clears throat> that is it. That is Dragon's Lair. I am really bad at this game. <laughs> you know what? It's cool, and I feel like I'm 12 years old again because I'm abs I am absolutely suck at it. <laughs> so, very cool game. I love the cabinet too, the marquee. It kind of wraps around. Uh, it's like a silk screen, almost like control panel overlay type material. Um, I think it's a really cool looking cabinet. Great game. I don't know if I'll ever get one. It's like one of those games I don't really have the nostalgia for because I never played it really when I was a kid because I was afraid of it. <laughs> so, alright guys, uh, that is it. Why don't we head back to uh, the basement? Let's get in the car and get out of here. Keith Apricary, uh, Neo Geo right there. All right, let's get out of here. there you have it that was a dragon's lair i hope you guys enjoyed that video actually when i was up at fun spot last week i did about four different game reviews um they came out okay i'll be releasing them little by little here as time goes by um uh so look for those in the future i did crazy kong which is a hilarious donkey kong clone um i did berserk and uh what else did i do oh i did galaga 88 so look for those soon. I'll be releasing those over the next few weeks. Um, all right, guys, that's it for me. By the way, I release new videos every Sunday. That's right, every Sunday. So click that subscribe button uh, to get a little alert when I upload a video. I think that's how it works. And also check out my podcast. It's called The Video Game Outsiders. We do that podcast every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on allgames.com. That's the All Games radio network. The podcast is called Video Game Outsiders. I've been doing that podcast for about eight years. Eight years. Yes, I am a podcasting pioneer. So anyway, check it out. We do it live. We've got a huge listenership, uh, a live chat, all that good stuff. Tuesday nights, allgames.com. Later, guys.